staring at me. All right. <laughs> Because it stresses food quality. So it's not so much worry. 
worried about the calories and all those things. It's worried about the right foods. So if you eat the right foods, even if you eat too much of them or don't eat at the right times, generally you're going to get better results than if you're eating the wrong foods. You're following a strict caloric intake and all these things. So that's why compared to the data works so well. The problem is there's not enough specific details. And so that's what we kind of need to, to get into. And that's what I do a lot with like athletes and with normal people consulting. You know, maybe they've done it for a month or two where they're just starting and they want specifics. They want to really be coached and have to take it to the next level. So that's what I do. I've worked with Carlos and a lot of other CrossFit athletes and um, I've had really good luck with, with getting results. But has anybody heard, let's take a step back and talk about just to give you a general overview of where paleo comes from and what it is. Has anybody heard of the agricultural revolution? Yes. Maybe like fifth grade history or something? You know? Are there any teachers in here? A teacher? Okay. So I don't know what grade, I don't know what grade we learned the agricultural revolution, but I'm sure it's like in history class in, in, in some forms. And, uh, and so it's like such a, a big thing, you know, like, oh, we're so smart. We learned how to farm. We learned how to do all, the, all those things. But there's actually a big population, a lot of research that's come, off, come along. And the problem is, is it's kind of hidden because it's, it's really more on the historian and anthropology side. It's not on the nutrition side. And so there's tons of historians and anthropologists and people that are saying, look, like, we have so much proof that once we started farming, our lives changed, and not, not really for the better. You know, we, we, we ate more often, but we started eating the wrong things. So, the, the paleo, paleo diet comes from the Paleolithic era, okay? So there's Paleolithic and Neolithic. So Neolithic is post-agricultural revolution, post-farming, okay? So the Neolith Neolithic era is, is a roughly, there's some debate, but roughly the last 10,000 years, okay? So from 10,000 years ago, back, 2.5 million years was the Paleolithic era, okay? And so that's when our ancestors in tons of different cultures throughout the world, we have proof, like we know from, from, um, from ancestral studies and from anthropology, we know what they ate, and, and they, they, they traveled around, and they killed animals, and they ate, you know, they ate animals primarily, they ate nuts and seeds, fruits and vegetables, and plants. I mean, that, that was their diet. It was strictly based around that, okay? So for 2.5 million years, that's how we ate, and, and we didn't have things. I mean, there's proof, you guys think I'm crazy because you know, how can we totally prove 10,000 years ago? But there's tons of studies that show, and again, it's not on the nutrition side, it's all on the anthropology side. They can look at, at fossils and look at remains and look at jaw and teeth and all these things. And these people who lived, you know, you know, so long ago, they didn't have cavities, they didn't have, you know, the things that we have. They, they were actually, there's many studies that show they were actually taller, they had better bone structure, better bone density. You know, so they were actually healthier than we are. And everybody says, oh, well, yeah, but the average age was X. Well, it's because they got eaten by a bear, you know. <laughs> I mean, so, so that, that, that skews it, you know. People died at birth because, it, you know, obviously it wasn't a clean process and they didn't have the technology and the, the um, cleanliness, you know, practices that we have. So that totally skewed things because there was way more childhood birth, uh, childhood death at birth, and there was way more accidents. You know, you got killed by a tribe member, or you got killed by a wild animal. So, however, they lived much longer into their life healthier. You know, I don't, I, I don't meet with too many people over the age of 30 who aren't on multiple prescriptions. You know, and, and, and 30 and 40s, you know, you're looking at you know prescriptions for acid reflux. Uh, you know, high cholesterol, like all these things. And so if you look at these cultures, they live a much long, much longer into their life, they were healthier than we were. And, and essentially they, they lived longer when you, when you take out the skewed numbers of, of the rare occurrences of death that we don't deal with. So, um, the, and the thing is, is, if you look at our genetic structure back 2.5 million years, you can look at like the genetic structure of, of the, the human being. And, between 2.5 million years ago and now, it's only changed about 1%. So our genetic makeup is only about 1% different than it was back then, but our diet has changed drastically. So over the last 10,000 years, we started farming, we started, we took these seeds that were meant to grow plants, and we started using them to, to eat them, and then we, we made grains.